planted these okra seeds, well, these plants on May 27th, and they have grown to this. And look what I found on there. Oh my gosh, I, I didn't know that these could hold such, let me stop. I can't even lie, right? Tommy, Tommy Bites. As you can see, I don't have a harvest. <laughs> it's getting there slowly but surely. But my brother had a harvest. All different shapes. All different sizes. Now, I don't know about this one because, I mean, it's still, Lady Let said it can be a little soft. So, it's soft. It's not too hard. I'm about to go and try to fry it up like she did. I'm so excited and nervous. It's about to go back in the house, and I just happened to look over at the strawberries. And, y'all, I saw something red poking out. Let's see we got oh, it's still giving me strawberries I'm taking it I'm taking it look at that see I'm not getting harvest from some things but I am getting it from others look at that awesome today we are going to be making some fried okra I need to try this um, I usually do like the frozen already breaded but we're gonna do the fresh today. We're gonna do the fresh today. So stay with me. Y'all like my fish tank? Okay, here we go. I have some um, sausages in here with some pork and beans. So they're just having pork and beans and sausage. So these are my okra that I got from my brother. I have to wash them. My okra, I have to cut them up. And I'm just cutting this part off and then down here. And she calls the ones that look like this little nuggets. This right here. That would be like a little nugget to eat. Now I got them all cut. You see the inside? Using avocado oil, just enough to coat it is what she did. This is a smidget. I two eggs in here. She cracked the egg. It had two of the um, yolks or whatever in there with a little turmeric because it's really good for aches and y'all I do have lupus and fibromyalgia and I couldn't find the, what she used so I found the coconut flour. Open that. So it's like a, my okra is gonna have like a coconut flavor. So what she did was she took her okra and she just put them all. Remember, I have seasoning on mine, so and she just coated them, coating them. This is going to turn out, surely not going to taste like, don't like to eat okra. I love okra. What they looking like. If it's not sizzling, if it's not popping, don't start dropping. How about that? Ooh, I get a little golden brown. Not coming out right, y'all. We're gonna say this is a fail. I'm not liking the way it smells. This was a fail. 
of epic proportion. That's why when someone gives you a recipe, you do it the way they say it, do it. This is a prime example of why you should do it the way they say it, do it. Because your stuff gonna come out looking like this. I mean, it don't look bad. <laughs> it don't look good either. But I already know I ain't gonna wanna eat it. You'd think I'd give up, but I decided to try a different pan with the next batch. I just tasted it, not the first batch, but the second batch. And it tastes good, honestly. It didn't taste bad. The only problem is that coconut flour, it made it taste like um, pancake batter wrapped around, a, wrapped around an okra. So yeah, I don't know about that uh, coconut flour, y'all. But anyway, Thanks for the recipe. I will try again, probably with just regular flour though. I know how to do it that way, but I wanted to try something different and it didn't work out. So y'all, thank y'all for joining me on Tommy Bikes Homestead. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, go out and spread God's love with distance because of, you know what? Until next time, peace, love, and light. Thank y'all for joining Tommy Bites Homestead. Mm -hmm.